So what it's gonna do with those excess of calories is start storing it as fat. So someone in this situation, they'd normally then go and do an extreme calorie restriction diet. A lot of people will try and eat around 500 calories. So when you're doing that, yes, you're gonna get some amazing weight loss results very, very early on. But because it's such a low amount of calories, it's going to induce a lot of intense food cravings, which there's only so much self-discipline and control you can have with that. And you will literally get to a point where you will rebound and binge. And there's scientific research to show so many people that do this type of thing with yo-yo dieting, they do the extreme calorie restriction, then they binge, gain all the weight back, and normally gain more weight back than they had in the first place before they lost weight. And if you keep doing this time and time again, every time you rebound, you end up gaining more and more weight back, which is really not good for you psychologically, and it normally disheartens a lot of people, and then they just discontinue ever trying to lose weight again. A lot of people that go down this route, what do they also do as well? They go from doing no exercise to really intense things like insanity workouts and their body just cannot handle it whatsoever because they've got a lot of excess weight, they don't have any experience or they may have had some experience with fitness in the past but because they haven't done it for so long, just their body is not used to it whatsoever. So it's a really big strain on the body when they're doing really intense exercise when you have a lot of weight. Obviously, the more weight you lose and the more that you train consistently over a period of time with some exercise that's not too extreme that you can actually sustain over a long period of time, that's absolutely fine. But most people are just going all in, all out. That's just what so many people do in the Western world. They're going from one extreme to the other rather than doing what I'd call middle ground. And yes, these extreme exercise programs that people do to lose weight will give you some amazing rapid weight loss benefits, but for the majority of people, it is just gonna put you in such an extreme calorie deficit, especially when you eat an extreme calorie deficit diet, and again, it could just set you up for binging. And also, the majority of people are just gonna end up burning out the CNS, which is a central nervous system, and their adrenals, so then they're gonna be jacking up their cortisol levels and just having a huge stress response on the body, which can actually start to stall people's weight loss journey or stop them from losing weight. And then there's a lot of people think that you can just take a pill that's gonna make you lose the weight magically overnight, like you're in Harry Potter. And it's like, it doesn't work like that. Don't be so fucking stupid. There's so many companies out there that just wanna market things to sell to you, where you can just pop a pill and they're getting you to believe that it's gonna make you lose weight really, really rapidly, which some supplements can help with weight loss, but if you're not doing things in your everyday life to lose weight over a period of time, you're not gonna get the best weight loss benefits possible. You may get some small ones from taking these things, but you're not gonna get any major, major fat loss burning benefits just by taking supplements. If you don't change your diet and do an exercise regime that's suitable for you, that you can sustain over a long period of time and so on. So yeah, don't believe these gimmicks that are sold by these companies that just wanna make money from you. Because at the end of the day, they don't care. As long as you put money in their pocket, that's all that matters to them. Yes, there are some companies out that you can trust, but the majority of them, especially in the weight loss industry, are just not the most truthful people that are scamming you. So it's about finding a diet that you can sustain over a period of time that you enjoy eating, whether it's a ketogenic diet, a whole food plant-based diet, a raw vegan diet, a carnivore diet, whichever one that you think that you could actually sustain over a period of time. You may not know which one's gonna work the best for you, but learn from some people that have got weight loss results from a specific type of diet. You could try it out, see if it works for you. If it does, continue doing it. If it doesn't, then discontinue it. And try out another diet until you find one that works for you. And you can do the same with an exercise regime as well. And with the exercise, for very obese people, I would just recommend gentle walking. And you could start increasing the duration of walking over a period of time once you start doing it consistently. And then you could try things like swimming, running, bodybuilding, calisthenics, whatever type of exercise 
that you enjoy the most is the best one for you to do and one that's not too extreme where it's tailored to your needs so it doesn't just burn you out and so you can just do it consistently. But yeah, don't do any of the insane things like insanity or even high intensity interval training or sprinting because pff, yeah, good luck with doing that. I can do it, but I'm not obese and I have a high level of fitness. But people that are obese are not where I'm at at all. So yeah, these are the number one reasons as to why so many people fail. Just like people that do the biggest loser program, the winners of that, what I have seen from the research that I've looked into, the majority of them that ended up losing so much weight actually ended up regaining it and a lot of time they ended up regaining more weight than they had in the first place and you can look into that online. So yeah, they were doing very extreme calorie restriction diets with very extreme training and yeah, they lost the weight, but they've regained it all, which man, that just must be a complete head fuck for that to go on. It's just not good whatsoever. And it's just a very, very unhealthy thing for you to do psychologically. It can make you feel really, really bad about yourself and induce a lot of a mental health conditions within you, which I don't want for you and I wouldn't want for myself, so it's not something I'd recommend at all. And something that you need to be aware of that goes alongside all this is and this is a very important thing to be aware of. You need to find the biggest reason as to why you want to lose weight. If you're just doing it for egotistical reasons or you just want your partner to love you more just due to the way that you look or you're trying to lose weight really quickly for a wedding or some very like just not really big reasons as to why you want to lose that weight you're not really gonna be able to sustain whatever you're gonna try and do to lose weight over a long period of time. So find the biggest reason as to why. I did an interview with a man that was around 500 pounds that lost 225 pounds of weight from doing a 150 day water fast. And if you haven't seen that video, I put a link for up above. But why he embarked on this, as he explains in that interview, he felt when he stood up from the chair at one point, that he could have just like collapsed on the floor and he felt that he was dying inside and like his life was gonna end very, very soon. And he has a very young son, if I remember correctly, and he's scared like, what if that happens and I fall on my son when I'm carrying him? It will completely end his life. And that would just be like one of the most traumatic things that he would never want to happen. So due to that reason, he found some very big reasons as to why, and that's why he was able to sustain a 150 day water fast. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you do that, but if you're someone that has an excess of body fat, you can fast for a very, very long period of time because you have so much stored energy on your body, and when you're in that fasting state, your body will tap into that energy source and burn it up and use it up. And with him, since he quit that diet, he's been off it for months now, he's been on a diet that's working for him, that's making him still get continual weight loss benefits because he's not exactly where he wants to be with his body yet, but it is working really, really well for him and it's easy for him to stick to without him having to have loads of self-control and resist urges for other foods because they don't exist for him whatsoever because he's on a diet that's really working for him and his needs and goals. So yeah, last words, just stop fucking around and do things that are actually working for other people that are going to work for you, which you're only gonna find out when you start experimenting with them. Don't do any of these extreme things because you're most likely going to fail and never pick yourself up again and never truly lose the weight that you want to lose. And don't forget, I have many videos on this channel about how to lose weight and speed up your weight loss results with whatever you're gonna do and various other things that can help you go in a direction to gain and maintain the body that you desire, the physique and the fitness levels as well. So if those videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to leave your questions down below and like and share. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.